Hey folks, so yesterday the first, very first Arena Breakout Infinite gameplay trailer has been published, which is amazing by the way. So if you haven't looked at that, then definitely go ahead. Um, the channel, by the way, Arena Breakout Infinite channel had a handful of subs a few days ago and we already have 20,000 subscribers. But this is not the only highlight from yesterday. So the biggest competition, Escape from Tarkov, they introduced something new and I want to cover that along with other topics. Um, I, I, I want to kind of connect the dots and give you my point of view and also what to expect from me because in case you are a new viewer and you have never seen me before, I'm an active creator for Arena Breakout Mobile and going forward, I'm going to be covering the mobile version and also the PC version. So if you are looking forward for guides, tutorials and funny stuff, then definitely subscribe to my channel. But today we're going to be covering like the current situation and why this is a big thing, because I feel like that we are not even in the closed beta and Arena Breakout Infinite already has a huge advantage over Escape from Tarkov. So let's see what happened. I'm not an Escape from Tarkov player, by the way. I have a pretty good understanding of what the game is about. Um, it's pretty much the same as Arena Breakout, realistic, hardcore FPS for PC. But I just wanted to highlight that I'm not playing the game. So what happened yesterday? I'm not sure if it's a coincidence or not, but they changed the, the pricing of their, um, of their offered packages because Escape from Tarkov works in a way where you purchase the game. To my understanding, there is no in-game store, so there are no microtransactions. But if you have the biggest bundle, like the 150 package, then you definitely have an advantage over other players because it comes with uh, the composite case, for example, and other benefits you can use in the game, which definitely gives you an advantage. Arena Breakout is different. They have a different type of business model, but I'm going to get back to that. Let's first check what happened uh, in the world of Escape from Tarkov. I'm not sure if it's a coincidence that it happened exactly on the same day when the Arena Breakout trailer was dropped, but basically they kind of screwed all of their players because they changed the price of the bundle. And uh, it has been clearly said in the terms and conditions that um, any additional DLC uh, they're going to get for free. I want to play you a clip from Asmongold, he has been addressing that. In case you don't know Asmongold, he is like one of the well-known streamers. He is like streaming 24 seven and um, and he's really good in covering such topics. So he's coming from the world of uh, Warcraft environment, but by now, I mean, if you know him, then you know that he has always good opinions. If you don't know him, then feel free to check him out. He's like having two million subs or such. Um, so let, let's watch his clip first. It is a video. So, Escape from Tarkov it is a video game. And it is, in fact, a video game that has a lot of very, very, very hardcore players. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Is 250. No, it's not. Yeah. So, at this point, he doesn't actually believe that it's $250. So, he's checking the actual official website. Oh! <laughs> W why? For context, those willing to play Tarkov, Tarkov is a seasonal multiplayer extract shooter that has the base price of $60. Different yep. pay-to-win bundles ranging yep. from $79 to $159. The bundle includes extra starter content, inventory space the normal player would speak, spend weeks to grind for each season. However, Tarkov discontinued their most expensive Edge of yep. Darkness bundle. Oh! So it's not even the case of they added this into the game. They took away the existing thing. Exactly. And now they're adding this instead. Uh and as you can see, it also says that free access to all subsequent DLCs. And to my understanding, it was there for the previous package as well. Uh, the bundle includes more pay-to-win content. Oh, more mm -hmm. pay-to-win content. Unlike the $150 pay-to-win version, many of these are completely exclusive and are fairly OP in such a tactical seasonal multiplayer shooter game. Players and streamers are mocking this game. Oh my God. He stopped right here. But it says that, and even Arena Breakout, Tencent's Tarkov copy. I'm not. I'm not sure if Arena Breakout Infinite should be considered as a Tarkov copy because Arena Breakout Mobile was already established, and the PC version is going to be based on that mobile game. Yes, 
it's the same genre as Escape from Tarkov. Maybe it was always planned to roll it out like this, like to have it on mobile first and then have a PC version. But I don't consider it as an Escape from Tarkov copy. Oh my God. The reason for the anger is because end of, oh, that's the, this is a $150 thing. Had exclusive items promised along with free access to all future. Yeah, this validates what I just said. So this was added in the previous version, like in the previous um, most expensive version. And now they just changed that. So the terms and conditions. Future DLCs, which they are with new additions and features and yep. game modes, claim they are not. Wait, 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 wait. So what you're saying is that whenever you bought the $150 version, you were effectively getting like a, a gold card. And it's like, this will always be relevant. This will always be valid. And now they said your gold card, <laughs> it's actually silver. Is that accurate? They f***ing removed it? Are you kidding me? Yeah. They removed the word unique. I'm going to remove the swearing, by the way. They removed the word unique because it's no longer unique because they're offering it in another edition. You don't see that kind of stuff every day. So because of this, the community just just went mad. People on the Escape from Tarkov server are spamming the server and basically asking the whole community to spread the word because this cannot be tolerated. It says, since 2016, players have supported the developers by purchasing the highest edition of the game, the $150 bundle, for eight years, we've been recommending this game to friends, bringing more and more players into the community. And what was the developer's response? They blown us off, refused to comment, and only encouraged those who have lost all respect for themselves and continue to pour money in. I personally had high hopes for Tarkov. In my eyes, it was high quality and most ambitious product on the entire market. Yes, I, I can actually relate to that because I think on PC, Escape from Tarkov was really like top notch. Um, this is unacceptable. This is selfish. This is disrespectful. You've disgraced yourself completely. You've lost loyal players. You've betrayed the idea. It's disgusting. To everyone who feels the same way, don't be silent. Spam, make memes, spread the word wherever it's relevant. This cannot be tolerated. And then it's being copied all over again. Now let's see how all of this relates to Arena Breakout Infinite. So Arena Breakout Infinite, the PC version of Arena Breakout Mobile, has been announced approximately two weeks ago. Um, some didn't even believe that it's going to happen, but it's definitely true. And um, the first gameplay trailer has been published, as I said, with more than, I don't know how many views it had, but um, let's check. Oh my God, three... <laughs> 300,000 views. The last time I checked, it has it had 20,000-ish. Um, so that's going to be a free-to-play game, okay? But I don't want you to think that it's going to be completely free. I mean, you can play the game completely free, but you can still buy yourself advantages if you are wanting to, okay? But no cost upfront. At least that's going to be the case if they follow the business model of the mobile version. Because in the mobile version, we have, like, it's completely free, but you can buy yourself a monthly subscription for um, the composite case. There are two sizes for that. You can buy yourself an elite pass or elite, yeah, I think it's called elite pass. Basically, bigger storage, more transactions on the market, and um, some additional perks, such as daily money. And then you have the battle pass. Maybe on PC, it's going to be something like having one monthly subscription, which then includes the composite case. Um, I don't know, but definitely much more free to play compared to what we have on Tarkov. And why is this a big thing? So all of the mad and raging Escape from Tarkov players started publishing content, which basically recommends you to start focusing on Arena Breakout Infinite. I don't really understand why they have been doing this change now, because it was basically kicking themselves in the ass uh, for doing this change, because look at that. It has been announced. There's going to be a big hype. This is new. Um, people like new stuff, and it's going to be free. So Escape from Tarkov didn't even wait until Arena Breakout Infinite goes live or gets into the beta. They already put themselves into such a bad situation that 
I have no idea how they can revert this, which is from my point of view, not, not an issue because I'm an arena breakout content creator and I'm going to cover arena breakout PC. So for me, it's actually good news, but I don't really understand it. Anyways, I hope if you are an escape from Tarkov player and you are seeing this, then you're going to consider subscribing to my channel because I'm going to definitely cover arena breakout. Um, for PC and you know in case you're interested in mobile you're gonna see tons of stuff already on my channel regarding that game regarding arena breakout infinite there are a bunch of things which I wanted to cover still in this video first and foremost I want to highlight that this is not crossplay so existing mobile players are gonna not play against PC players they're gonna have the same maps similar you know features weapons functionalities but it's still going to be a fully different game. This is very important, uh, mainly impacting the existing player base, but still very important note. Another thing is that um, the mobile community was concerned whether we're going to have, um, whether we're going to lose players on the mobile version by having this new um, Arena Breakout Infinite. I'm going to put some of the screenshots on screen while I talk. The flat answer is no. And the reasoning for that is because I think not all of the mobile players have a decent enough PC to play this game, okay? The minimal requirements to play this game is, or from a GPU perspective, are, is RTX 2060. And even on that, it may not be that smooth. So I don't think that it's going to be having a huge impact on the currently existing mobile community. I feel like that we're going to have the mobile community and then we're going to have another PC community and we're going to work with other creators to make it one, one big family, one big arena breakout community. Okay. At least that's the plan for me. And I know it's also the plan for other creators who are already having a more established channel than mine. And as I said, I would be coming back to the Arena Breakout uh, Infinite Business Model. And whilst we don't have precise information, so I'm just going to share my personal thoughts. I think it's going to be very similar to what we have at the moment on mobile, with some exceptions. I would assume to have a monthly subscription or eventually a Battle Pass-like subscription. So you subscribe to the Battle Pass and maybe as part of that Battle Pass, you're going to get uh, the composite case, for example. And in the free version, you would get a smaller composite case. Just really my personal opinion. I think if somebody has a two grand PC, then paying like a monthly subscription for $10 or $15, it's not going to be a big thing. And on top, I'm pretty sure we're going to have skins, cosmetics and such just for those people who, you know, want to stand out from a um, look and feel perspective. I really hope we're never going to have anything in the game which is actually pay to win. If you have not played Arena Breakout Mobile and if you don't know the developers, uh, you're going to be very surprised how, how much they listen to the community and how much they care about the community. I think it's a very nice team and I personally I'm supporting them by creating the videos and running the channel, but sometimes I even like purchase stuff for real money. I'm not that big to get everything for free. So if you are an Escape from Tarkov player, then I would recommend you to check out Arena Breakout Infinite um, website. Do the pre-registration. Close beta is going to start early May. I'm going to cover that. I need to buy myself a new GPU, definitely. Uh, but I think it's worth investing into it. Mm, on the long run, it's going to benefit my channel to have both Arena Breakout Mobile and Arena Breakout PC. So folks, I'm truly happy that we're going to have Arena Breakout Infinite and I'm going to do my very best to make this Arena Breakout community shine. So don't be shy to press that like, share this video if you liked it, and um, thoughts, opinions are welcome in the comment section. Thank you for your attention. Shady out. Bye.